Hey everyone, it's Tiffany from Let's Get Scrappy and I'm finally going to get the tutorial done for this uh, Scrappy Christmas Crafts uh, Folio project. Um, it is a little folio but with a little kickstand on the back um, and it's really easy, simple to make so we're just going to make this together right now. So. We will start with, I used from Country Craft Creations, their artisan 100 pound cardstock in black, as well as um, I did a couple flaps from the eight and a half by 11, just regular artisan cardstock. And there is a sale happening right now. Um, so check it out. It's over Monday, May 20, what is that? Six Memorial Day. I'm 2024, so hurry up, hop on over there if you want to get some good deals on amazing cardstock. I love this cardstock. Um, but we will just go through. Um, I'm going to give you guys, just as usual, um, the papers to cut. And your first piece will be the left side of the cover. That is 11 by 7. And then you're going to score it at a half inch five and a half and nine on the 11 side. And then your second piece um, will be for the right side of the cover. And this is just building our base. Uh, this is um, 12 by seven. And then we'll score at a half inch, five and a half, six and 10 and a half on the 12 side. And that is for you know, the outside pieces. Then for the inside, the middle part, and I'll link the video of the walkthrough so that you can hop over and see what the book looks like. But um, now for the middle part right here, you will need, this is for the top flap in the middle and it's four and seven eighths by 10. And then we're going to score at a half inch, three quarters of an inch, which you can't even see. I don't know why I'm showing you. Um, and then at seven, I'll stop doing that. <laughs> and then the top flap or the bottom flap will be four and seven eighths by seven. I like it to be just a little bit shorter than the width so that it doesn't impede on the actual, um, you know, fold up of the folio. And then we will score at half inch and three quarters of an inch and underneath that you will have a piece and these were all with the scraps so I did the outside covers first so this is two pieces um, one 12 by 12 one 12 by 12 then with the scraps I got the rest of this here um, and then the middle flap is, um, or in the middle, this is the small flap. It's five by five, and then we're going to score on one of them, just a half inch. And then a third 12 by 12 piece. I did the kickstand, which is five by seven, and then we score at one and a half. This is optional. You do not have to do this if you don't want to. I just was playing, trying some fun different things. And then four and a quarter by six and a quarter for a photo mat, four by five. You could do whatever you want with the scraps. There's there's room to make these bigger if you want them bigger. And then three and a half by five. And then two pieces that are three by four. And then from an eight and a half by 11. So that was three pieces of 1,200 pound. You still can use other 12 by 12. I just like, if I don't use chipboard, I'd like it to be sturdy. And then last but not least, you'll need two pieces. Um, this is all still for the middle that are five by six and seven eighths. And then we're going to score a half inch on one of the sides on the five with the five at the top. So let's go ahead and get out our scoreboard. And we're just going to go through, score all these, get them prepped. I can't tell. My camera looks kind of dirty. And let me just, I'm going to come in here. 
tilt up these little blank pieces a little bit. That's a little better. Okay, so with our 11 by 7, the 11 at the top, score it a half inch, 5 and a half, and 9. Just set that aside. Let's just do all of our scoring at once. With your right piece, this is the 12 by 7, half inch, 5 and a half, 6, and 10 and a half. Now, if you want your book to be a little bigger, I'll just show you guys. This is what mine looks like. Is this better? Here, let me move this. There we go. So you can see it is a little alligatory over here. If you want to add like a quarter of an inch or even an eighth of an inch, you can to this piece that was the 11 by 7. Um, I would just, you could take, you know, when we fold it up, you'll see, you could take some away from the pocket. You can still do that and have it, you know, bigger, but that's the piece you would want to, instead of at, what did we have? Um, this was a half inch. You would do like a half inch and then five eighths of an inch or a half inch and three quarters of an inch. If you wanted to have a bigger, like, um, spine right here so it didn't alligator as much but I just went with it normally I do do it bigger but I was like huh eh, we're just gonna try it and see so just options for you guys okay did we do this one I don't actually remember I think we did <laughs> okay and then the two middle flaps with the five going across the top score at a half inch on both of those Set your photo mats aside for now. The kickstand with the seven going across the top, we score at one and a half inches. This is, I'm telling you guys, this is a really easy project when you're not Tiffany. Um, so with, this is the top flap that goes in the middle, the 10 across the top, we're gonna score at a half inch and give it a quarter inch gusset at three quarters of an inch and then at seven. And then our bottom flap that goes in the middle is a half inch and then three quarters of an inch. And then last is this little flap here. I'm gonna turn it this way. Um, and it's a five by five square, so whichever side just score a half inch. And voila, there you go. Okay. I'm gonna get out my mat. Ooh, this one's kinda dirty. Little on the dirty side. Tiff needs to do some cleaning. Okay, let's get our base going. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, you don't need to miter these corners. You can if you want to. I'm not going to on this one, but let's just get everything scored. Or not scored, but folded on the score lines. So we have that. So right now our piece looks like this here. Is that a good way to show? I can't see, why can't they see? There's like a shadow right there, there. And then we're gonna fold this one back onto itself. This creates our little pocket. You guys know I like things easy. I just take a piece of paper and start scoring and folding. <laughs> so it just makes it nice and easy. Grab your other piece. Again, we are just folding on those score lines and giving it a really good crease. And I don't like that little piece right there. And as you're folding the creases, make sure they're still somewhat lining up on the ends before you crease it down. So, and just keep folding all of them. So this here is our base. All I did was glue these two together here. 
so you just take those two half inches I'm just kind of looking at it um, what's most important is that you do not take your paper over that bump of the score line it should be to the right of it so I'm just this is the right side I'm just gonna add some adhesive And again, just lining those up. And because I use glue, I need to let it set for a second. But you really want to give it a good burnish. Seal them together all the way. But I think I said in my other video, the walkthrough, that this is, um, this would make just great little gifts for wedding, for like a bridal party, for baby shower, you know, all of, all of that good stuff because it's nice and quick, but they'd make great Christmas gifts. Graduation, all of the above. Okay, so there is the base of our project. We're gonna add some extra things to the middle here. And remember, on these type of things, just because we're doing a tutorial, you can do this however you want to. You can add all these flaps, you don't have to add them. I am gonna come in and miter these corners. So just up to that first um, score, not the second one, and I'll do the same thing to the bottom, just to that first score line. Again, you don't have to do that if you don't want to. It's just, I just, yeah, I'd have to do it. <laughs> I don't know why I have to, but I do. And okay. Crease that down. This is the top flap, so now it looks like this here. I'm trying to see what you guys can see. And we're going to flip this back up because why waste the paper? I did cut off, this was from like the 12 by 12, so I had to cut off a little bit. I was trying to just not waste any paper, but my pocket was too big, so. This will be our top flap. Can you guys see? Okay, now let's just do the bottom. And my fingers are really peeling right here. Okay. I cannot focus because I really want to get that stuff off my finger. <laughs> driving me crazy seeing it. Hold please. Is it glue or is it peeling? I can't tell. Must be glue. Oh my gosh, it's driving me crazy. Nope. All right. So now we we'll just have that half inch. We're going to glue and we're going to glue it to the top, but I want you to do a dry fit first just to make sure it folds nicely. If it does not, you have to shave off a little bit. But if it was cut at the 7 eighths, we should be good as long as it's centered. Add your adhesive. Okay. And I am going to show you guys at the end, if I remember, because I said that in my last like video and I forgot to show you guys something. Um, I made a project that I already have a tutorial for with this paper, with the scraps. And it's just perfect for scraps. And if you want to just, you know, each month take your scraps and make some of these, 
you'll have plenty by the time the holiday season comes. Again, they're just great for graduations that are coming up. They're just fun to just make, period. Just fun to make. Okay, I'm trying to get you to go back the other way. Thank you. And I did use a magnet in mine to make sure, you know, they stayed together, but you don't have to. Okay, now let's do the middle pieces. So let's miter these corners. Just going to do both at once. Set this aside just so I can get them burnished really good. And you could use 100 pound for this. I just didn't want to break out another 12 by 12 and use 100 pound. Or on the, the smaller pieces, like the photo mats, you probably could have got these. Could you have? Uh, yeah, you could have maybe got these. Out of there. I don't know. And you use scraps for your photo mats. But it's still artisan. Once you have paper on, no one knows you have two different like textures on there. But I do like to have the sturdiness when I have gussets. I like it to be a little bit strong, stronger of cardstock. I am fiddling all over the place for no reason. Okay, so add your adhesive. Oh my goodness gracious. Try to get your adhesive on the cardstock. <laughs> and you should do a dry fit first, which I did not. So hopefully this is still going to fit in between my two top and bottom. And because we cut this at four and seven eighths, I'm not going all the way over. I'm lining up with my top flap. And that will also make sure that I can fold my project up and it not impede on it folding properly because you will know if yours impedes if you finish your project without testing all that out and like you know where it folds it's bumping out oh yeah it's because something's too long or too close to the hinge or the spine I should say good burnish that's our little left flap now let's do the other flap And there is room to, you know, stack a couple more if you wanted to, but I just wanted to make sure there's lots of room once the photos get put in. Not that I ever put photos in anything. <laughs> but, you know, I know you guys actually like doing that. That crazy thing of putting photos in these albums. I know, I'm so weird. I just, I can't cover up the paper. So what I'm doing right now before I push it down is I'm just making sure that I'm lined up here and here as best as I can. And now I will burnish and seal that baby up. Just making sure it is on there really good around all those creases. Okay. So that one folds in like so, and then our small one goes on top of this right one. So let's just miter corners on that. And this is a great beginner project if you are new to mini albums, folios. This is perfect to start with cardstock first, then build up to chipboard. We that's what I think, but um, they're all, once you get going, it's fun. You just have to allow yourself grace to mess up because you guys know I mess up on every single project, every one. Now you can mark this to center and I'm putting this over my flap. Like it's, un I mean, I should say this part's over. 
and I'm gonna stick it down. So, of course, it's opening the door again. Oh, yep. Do you think it's okay to wash Jim's towels and our towels or not? <laughs> yes, it's fine, Joseph. Oh my gosh. He just now feels like he has the freedom to just continue talking during my video sessions. That's my hubby. Okay, so... And voila, that is done. So here, this is... Let me grab my repositional. These are um, pockets, but you could also turn this into a flap. You can add another scrap piece. Let me just kind of show you. If you were to take like, you know, you could glue that on there. You guys have seen me do that before. But this is basically how it's done. I'm just not gluing it down because I will use this one and you want to add your pattern paper first. So we have that and then this one same thing. This is a pocket. This is just a lazy way to make pockets by just folding your paper up. You know just folding it up <laughs> into all the things you need it to be. And then I did add see if I can put it on here. I added a magnet here, a magnet here. I did not need one for the middle because the weight for this part here, because the weight of everything um, works, but I added one here. Is this, oh, hopefully it's still recording. I don't know. Um, here and then here. If you want it, you don't have to have it. And then this is a pocket. So you will just put a bead of glue, once you put your pattern paper down, a bead of glue and close that up. Tell me you guys, this is so simple. I just like making little cardstock folios. You get instant satisfaction. I guess it I'm like not burnishing it. <laughs> but there you go. That is it. Oh, no, it's not. No, it's not. The kickstand. So you can leave it like this if you want to. Or we have our kickstand. And I'll just, let me just put my little photo mats in here. Even though everything's popping open because I didn't put enough stuff on here. But the three by fours, one goes in there. In the middle, we did the four by five. And I just lifted that up because I just put stuff down. You know, that this one goes in the back. Now I'm just making a mess. <laughs> so this was just back here because I cut a pocket in the decorative paper. You can just make a tuck spot with ephemera and use that. Close this up. We're going to put that up. And then the kickstand is just going to go on the back, but I might open this up now to lay it flat, but I'll go back here. Or like I said, you can just leave this as is. You don't have to do anything, but I would dry fit because you don't want your... Hold on. So make sure, are we even? Yes, okay, good. So you don't want your kickstand to go beyond your the sides of your folio or top and bottom. So I do cut it a little bit less than five, just like a little tiny sliver off. Yeah, okay, we're good. So we're gonna fold this. Fold it the other way. Just to get it going. Now just glue this on to the back. Here, let me open up the folio. It'll be easier because of those quarter inch gussets. So I'll make sure you guys can still see. It's gonna be kind of hard. Come down a little bit. Because I do have my my hinges, not my hinges, my spines right there, but
I'm just gonna glue this down. And I just, I like make, you guys know, I like for me, this is all art. Make sure you have the half, one and a half inch at the top of your folio. So I know that this pocket up here is correct. So I'm on the right side, ver, you know, versus it being upside down. But I like making art with my papers. So that is why I never put pictures in anything because to me, the paper is the art. It's, you guys know me, my covers, even though this one was a clean, simple project, I like to display things. I think they're so cute when they're displayed. So this is how I came up with the little kickstand. I'm just going to try to see if I can get it open without it being tied. Do I have a little paper clip? Yes, I do. Let's just paper clip this all together. And it stands up. And then once you layer, the weight is even more. But I did put two magnets. Clink, clink. Right there and up here. I did have one in the middle, but it, the sides were poking up, so I didn't like that. So I put, I moved it and put the two right there. So just like so. And I'll show you what I made with the scraps. And I'll have the walkthrough video linked below. Where is it? Here it is. So I made one of my candy slash gift card holder boxes because I had some extras made. So I just took the scraps, um, had a, a extra doily cut, a little a ribbon pull. But this is what it looks like here. It opens up where I can write something if I want to. And I have my inside where I can pop in a gift card right here. So just so you guys can see like that. But the weight of chocolate or you could put money on top and then have a surprise gift card in back or gift cards and surprise money in the back. All the fun things, but this would make a cute little graduation. I might have to make one for my nephew who is gonna be graduating in a couple weeks. I don't know, I kinda like that. That would be cute to give as a graduation. I wonder if I could make it in the form of a square like a graduation hat. Hmm. I don't know. But there's that. And then this week, finally, I will have a tutorial. I made this for a friend. I did a walkthrough, but I didn't actually write down the directions or anything. So I got it back from her. I borrowed it back from her <laughs> so that I can make a tutorial for this. This is a Country Craft Creations collection. Absolutely love it. One of my faves. Um, I'll link the video below if you're if you have not seen it, but I will be having a tutorial coming up within the next week or so on that one there. But there you guys go. Have fun crafting. Please, please, please make sure that you share. Um, if you do remake the project, um, tag us Scrappy Christmas Crafts as well as um, if it's on IG uh, at Let's Get Scrappy One and at Carolina's Crafts. Um, just so we can see the projects that you guys made because we like seeing it in different paper too. But hopefully you guys have fun and have a great holiday weekend. Thanks for watching. Bye.